We are going to continue with a different method for uh, digital modulation, which is FSK, is a frequency shift king. So uh, this kind of method is uh, very similar to FM modulation. And we are going to show in this picture. So for example, as you see in this picture, we have uh, only two levels again. It's like ASK. So this also can be a BFSK. It means that uh, it's only two level and M is two. So here, what are we doing? For the, we have one and zero. For zero, we are going to send the cosine wave with a frequency of F1. For one, we are going to send F2. So as you see here, the data is one. So the frequency here is different. But as we have a zero, da zero data, zero binary data, the frequency here is also different. We have two, two frequencies, two frequency levels. So here we can see, uh, let's say for for zero and for one, so for zero we can we are going to send s one, which is a cosine omega one t. The frequency is omega one, and for a data uh, one, if we have a data one or level high, let's say it doesn't mean that we always have one volt, but we can assume that it's a high level. We are going to send the a, um, a cosine omega two. Here, this is a different frequency. So in this experiment, the message will be a binary bit stream and uh, only two frequencies will be involved because we have uh, two levels here. But uh, again, we can change this uh, and we can have different kind of levels. For example, we can have four um, levels, four frequency levels. It, it means that we are going to need uh, more bandwidths. So uh, without wasting time, let's start a modulator. So here we can see the concept of F FSK modulation. It's very simple, actually. We have two oscillators, so the first oscillator is producing F1, so we can say that this oscillator is producing A cosine, let's say omega 1 is uh, the angular frequency, so omega 1 T plus, we, we're going to have a, uh, the initial phase, it doesn't matter, and here is this is going to be A cosine omega 2 T plus, phi 0 is the initial phase as well. So what are we doing here is very simple as a switch and uh, uh, when the binary data, when the binary message is for example 1, we are going to switch one of this, for example when, when this is um, 0, let's say, we are going to switch the oscillator 1, so at the output we are going to have omega 1 frequency and when we have a data binary, uh, the data 1 is, when it's high, we are going to switch the uh, below one here, F2, and we're going to have omega 2 at the output. So this is how the uh, FSK modulator works. Uh, what about the demodulation? So we are going to explain this if FSK demodulator. So first of all, we have to talk about the output spectrum of the FSK demodulator. So we are going to have this kind of uh, uh, output, uh, this kind of uh, frequency spectrum, because as, uh, as we talked before, we are going to send the, two waves, we set A cosine omega 1 and A cosine omega 2, that's why we are going to have two bands, so we can say this, this is FSK output modulated signals uh, frequency spectrum, and we can show this F space and F mark, so what is F space, this is a band for zeros, so it means that when we send zero, we have omega 1, we set A cosine omega 1, so the, the center frequency here is omega 1, and when we send the uh, the uh, the one which is called F mark. This is the second frequency, and here this is one. So we are going to send uh, the signal uh, of omega two. So that's why uh, we have two different bands because we have two different frequencies, and this is the this is the spectrum of FSK. So let's see what is happening in this system. Uh, in this system, we are going to have two bandfast filters and two envelope detectors, and also at the output we are going to have a decision circuit. So uh, let's study two cases one by one and see how we can detect the uh, FSK signal. So first one, we are imagining that we have a zero. So when we have a zero, it means that we have a, we have a kind of signal here. Thank you for watching our video. Please don't forget to subscribe. You can learn about this topic and more using our website. The complete course on this topic is provided on our website at www.rahsoft.com. Rahsoft is providing a complete certificate on radio frequency. The courses are complete step-by-step -step approach with quiz and examples and certificate of completion will be provided upon finishing each course. By taking the required courses in RF system and IC design with past status, Rasoft would provide the Rasoft radio frequency certificate. Thank you. See you soon.